Good kitten internet. It's been a week since I've last recorded anything. Um, where we last left off, this is, we're basically done with the game at this point. Uh, we are just racking up the score, which is fine. Um, we're probably gonna take a quick look at how things are doing. Um, first off, production, sort by minerals. Um, Mendeleev College is just artificially increased due to building Skylabs. So that's not our best base. Our best base is here. Next turn, this will be done and our eco damage is going to be skyrocketing, to put it mildly. And we might as well just queue up the Ascent to Transcendence at this point because that's what we need to build. Um, Let's see. Korolev Center is the next one, eh? Why is that zero? Is that seriously a spot with nothing on it? Where is Korolev Center anyway? I'm trying to control using Wast. That does not work me. Um, Korolev Center is one of my newer ones. I would say. Uh, yeah, it's this one. Yeah, that's an empty spot. Huh. I didn't realize I had one of those. Whoops. I should probably fungus it quickly. Oh, well. Um, what else do we got? So we are in Transcendent Thought. 20 is our next one. Uh, we are, in fact, doing a right around two tech a turn now. Uh, we are making 308 money a turn, even though we have 0% money. <clears throat> um, there's still three secret projects that other people have that we don't. Or four secret projects, I swear I can count. Um, we have 10 Sky Hydro Labs, although we're getting multiple next turn. One Nessus Mining Station, 14 Orbital Power Transmitters, one Orbital Defense Pod, and one Geosynchronous Survey Pod. Um, the orbital attack view is just showing us what we'd be able to attack if we wanted to attack a satellite. We can't attack a satellite because, um, we're the only ones with satellites. You can't attack yourself. Um, and finally, our score is ridiculous at this point and rising. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Everybody's going to be starting the Ascent to Transcendence at this point. We are way faster than everybody else, though, so I'm not too concerned. Yep. With the voice of planet operational, humanity now may begin its Ascent to Transcendence. Any faction may now initiate the Ascent to Transcendence project at any base. First faction to complete the project will imprint its ideals most deeply on planetary mind. So basically what this is is that you get a score bonus when you complete the Ascent to Transcendence. The score bonus is... 2,000 points minus two times the number of turns that you've taken if you're the first one to complete it, and 800 minus two times the amount of turns that you've taken if you are, if somebody else completes it. Um, I should say you or an ally completes it, if I remember right. I think it's the same number of points either way. So, that's a thing. Combat report. Yeah... Yeah, this is going to hurt. And the game lock is frozen at the moment. Project Trying to calculate things. Initiated. Production complete. Yep, Production don't care. Any complete. photograph or work of art, if you could duplicate exactly the first tiny dot of color, and then the next, and the next, you would end with a perfect copy of the whole, indistinguishable from the original in every way, including the so-called moral value of the art itself. Nothing can transcend its smallest element. CEO Nwabuda K. Morgan, The Ethics of Greed. You wouldn't download a cart, would you? Anyway, um, just to show how ridiculous this base is now, we are at 83 eco damage and 203 minerals per turn. And keep in mind that, one, I have a cat that's going at 30 miles an hour in my house, and two, if we were building, like, um, satellites, this minerals, and our minerals would be doubled again. 
Not that we need it. <laughs> because you can't build more than one thing per turn in Smack. So, it takes us 10 turns to complete the Ascend Transcendence. It's a 2,000 mineral project. Production complete. Eternity lies ahead of us. And we have Okay, you're done. Oh, why not? <laughs> we haven't built a tachyon field anywhere yet. Um, other than that, we're not going to have that many turns anyway, but, you know, just because. Production complete. I believe you're at C2. Wait, you just built a tree farm. So that needs to go away. I think everybody else is okay. Or everything Production else is okay, complete. not everybody. Okay. You have all your hab stuff. You are a water base. No, you're not. You're actually on land. Um, so you're coast two? Yeah, you're coast two. Okay. Sorry, it's been a bit. Production complete. Eternity lies Told you. Ahead of two tech a turn at this point. All right, now let's find out what happened to that base that the game froze when I started getting attacked. Because that's kind of important. Okay, I survived that, which is amazing. It's good to know. I didn't survive it by much, mind you, but I did survive it. Oh, my nut lock's on. I don't think this is going to work very well. It did. Ah, two. Really? Yeah, there's no way I'm gonna survive another attack, am I? Ooh, barely survived, but I'm not gonna risk that any further. Okay, you built a road. I thought I told you tube. Go back and tube. Uh, you're gonna control F. You're gonna go up there. You have fungus. That is good. Let's start improving Sigma Sector. You are a drop shard behemoth, which means that I can drop you here and attack. And take the mind worm. Sure, why not? Farm that. Fungus that. Indigenous life. Really? Okay. Um, let's see if we can pull off that pod. That would be nice if we could. Uh, <laughs> or launcher. Mineral resources. Sci sector. Load. Coastal one. And fungus the last tile. No, it's the second to last tile in that range. That's fine. Um, you need to farm that. You might as well go there. And I'm just going to queue up the fungus. Right, you're going to stay there because I don't have, you know, any other way of getting things. And I hit space here instead of sleep. Um, that area is done. Where else can I start fungusing things up? Eh. Just automate. Or automate. 
fungus. Oh, actually, over here is a good spot for me to do that. So I'm going to tell that to stop. You're going to build a mega sector. I think that's the last of them, and then we're going to have numbers at this point. We'll find out. So I'm pretty sure we have more colony pods to build this turn. Forest, that one spot. Fungus, that. Uh, I actually do want that so I can use the energy resource. You're going to just sleep. You're building... University 56. So yeah, this is where, this is our 56th base. And I believe the next one will also be called University 56. And it will be forever called University 56, because why not? Um, you are drop formers. So we're just going to drop you right back there. You are clean formers. Um, can I raise land such where I can have a land bridge? And the answer is yes. I'd have to raise there. Yes. Um, you are going to be dropped over here. We're going to put you here. Honestly, I'd prefer not to get that spot. So maybe I'm going to put you here instead. See, this is what I mean by everything's being named 56 at this point. So I'm actually going to call the. I'm going to start increasing numbers. Oh, that's right. This is the base that I'm going to piss off the um, UN with. Not that we have enough turns left for them to really be pissed. Um... And you are going to turn over control. And then I'm going to attack you. There we go. Terraform complete. Lots of terraform and going on. Got all of that taken care of. Over here is completely unterraformed. So the T key for reference will toggle what the map views are. Um, the mod that I am running for the UI actually adds an extra toggle, but normally it's show me the base terrain and roads. So this is normally the next one. And then that's the one after. This first one here is actually new. Raise terrain. Yes, you can spend money. That's fine. Invalid terraform command. I don't know why I'm trying to raise that terrain. Um, what was I fungusing in the middle of nowhere anyway? You need to raise that terrain. That makes way more sense. Um, okay. I have fungused everywhere I can on the outside. I just decided I'm going to be helping the UN some. Uh, speaking of, what bases are people building things in? So you're useless. You're not even trying. Ascent to Transcendence, you have 114 turns. And 225 turns, because you're building it in two bases. You also have 60 turns until your Planet Buster, and you're building nothing but missiles for some weird reason. Morgan doesn't exist. Sparta doesn't exist. Believers are not doing anything either. Uh, the UN, 161 turns. Yeah, that's it. You see why I'm not too concerned about the beating me to it. Uh, these need to be raised up. That's fine. Indigenous life form.
make sure we don't have any more happy fun time mind worms because we're dealing with some problems right now. Um, to put it mildly. Where were you going? Recovered. That was useless. Yep, you're going to be building University 58. Not 568, 58. We have 66 bases. Why? Oh, we've only built 58. The rest are bases that we've captured. That makes sense. Fungus. Fungus. Build. 59. Load. Coastal. It's not the greatest location because it's too close to the UN, but that's okay. Um, fungus. You've already fungused. Where is the closest unlink node? 19 turns away. Okay. Where is the closest unlink node? The same place 22 turns away. Yeah, you're not making that. Uh, 26 turns away. Bot recovered. Where's your closest one? 40 turns away and it's still the same one. You're never going to end up making it. Uh, your closest is 23 turns away. Um, there's not really any use of you whatsoever. Or of you for that matter. Guess I'm gonna improve Kai Sector and then Hand of God because what else am I gonna do? Gagger Memorial, you need to drop. We'll do this. Hat? No, 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 no. You're going to finish your turn by dropping. Thank you very much. You're over here. You're extracting energy. Go. Okay. Colony pod. Because why not build more colonies? Ah, uh, so they're the ones that get the plus one planet from Manifold Nexus. That would have been nice earlier. Um. So the center of my empire is here. Because I think Planetary Archives is actually the center. So here. Here will work. Hold. You're just going to patrol back and forth Turn as usual. Complete. Okay. We have money. We should be spending money on things. Uh, we definitely cannot afford that, by the way. Just look at that. Just, what? So it's costing currently 16x. So 16 credits per mineral that we need costs 2,000 minerals, thus 31,840 credits, and the remaining part is just overflow from the previous thing that we built. Um, Zvedny, what? Why? No! Damn it, Gaia. Why do you keep building in stupid spots in my territory? I guess that's what we're going to be doing with our money. Please seed ocean flower. I'll pay. You're dumb. No. Put things back. There we go. 
95 eco damage. So we have a 95% chance of a pop every turn right now. It's great. It's going to be irrelevant, but you know. Um, we're going to treat you like coastal, except we definitely don't need a former here. The water former, different story, but we definitely don't need a regular former. Um, what else are we going to spend money on? I don't know why I was looking at that. Um, all of this is one turn. You're three turns. Request confirmation. Could just buy the quantum lab. It's not the worst idea. Your three turns, that's probably better to buy. Oh, I haven't even started building anything in those. Never mind. Um, Centauri Preserve is much cheaper. Request confirmation. Um, 88 doubled is... Actually, we don't even need that much, do we? <sighs> Honestly. Ah. Oh, well, I overpaid. It's fine. Um... Request confirmation. I'm overpaying. I just don't feel like mapping it. Request confirmation. It's also only 100 energy credits. I don't really care. Um, so basically, I'm hurrying anything that will increase clean mineral limit because that actually Request matters. Confirmation. Also, I just received an email and I have messages. Do, 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 do. One moment, let me pause this. And done paused. Okay. Um, is there anything else that I can buy that's going to actually help me? Q Lab, Fusion Lab, those don't really help me all that much. And the rec commons will help me, but eh. Request and live college. Poor thing. Probably enough. Yeah, it is. Um, yeah, that's good enough. Let's go. We're going to have a lot of pops. I wonder if you can get more than one pop on one base a turn. I've never had this much eco damage, by the way. Production I'm doing this to be silly, basically. Uh, I really need to refungus you. Uh, it doesn't help that you have an industrial bust right now. Production complete. Guy Memorial loses a forest. Production That's complete. fine. Production complete. Production complete. Lose as many forests as you want. I do not care. You have actually finished building all of your drop colony pods. Okay. Um. We're going to start queuing up Sky Hydro. Because we want to maintain as high of a population as possible. And the easiest way to do that is food. Production complete. Coast 2 at this point, right? Um, no, actually, you're not. You've built some of Coast 2 and not all. Ugh, annoying. So instead of Hybrid Forest, you are going to build a Sky Hydro Lab. Replace. Uh, yeah, that looks to be the only major change. Okay. At... That was supposed to be a drop colony pod. The game gets a little glitchy, by the way. It wasn't really obvious. Production the klaxon complete. began to wail, but we felt the reassuring tingle of the tachyon field crackling to life around us, encasing the entire base in its impenetrable glow. Spartan Kell, the fall of Sparta. He doesn't want to be on camera. Too bad. You're being on camera. Aww. 
I believe that is the last base facility that we had not heard the quote for. Um, not counting the ones that we got for free because of secret projects. So, um, hologram theater and aerospace complex and also naval base. Production complete. Eternity lies ahead of us. Production complete. Postal tools Production everywhere. Complete. Production complete. Imagine how annoying this would be if you didn't have the template feature. Um, the template feature is new as of Smack. Uh, they reintroduce it in Production Civ complete. 4, I want to say. It's a hidden feature in Civ 4, where you can actually add templates to things. Um, goes to... Production complete. I must have completely forgotten to give you a queue. Land one. And we're just going to replace this with a recycling tank now. Honestly, we don't even need the recycling tank. We're going to replace you with Hab. <laughs> and that's getting replaced with a recycling tank. Done. Production complete. Um. Fungus, and you are going to join them on Fungusing. Terraform complete. Because poor Korolev Center. That's better. Royal Love Center is one of our better bases for that matter. Like, take a look at our mineral list. So, not counting the first two because they are doing double duty right now. I said duty. It's Zvedny and then Korolev Center. So, Zvedny's at 227 minerals. Korolev Center's at 161. Gagger Memorial Third is at 149. So, also, this should probably be altered. You should be doing energy at this point. Because this is our science base. So just max out energy. That's it. That's all we're doing. Ah, good. We are actually... What is the next worst tile for us? Any of the forests. Got it. Invalid terraform command. You need to be raised, okay. Uh, you are going to... Here. And you're going to O for energy. You're going to continue replacing. You can... Uh, I don't really need you here at all. You know what? Just hold. Hey, look. More pods. Where am I putting the next ones? Maybe I should buy a port refuge. Um. Here, no. Over here, probably makes the most sense. Yeah, we'll put you there. What? Just go there. It'll be fine. Fungus. Raise. Sleep. Raise. If only fungicidal tanks actually increased your fungus placing speed, they don't. Um, you are all fungus up at this point. So I suppose I should start building tube down to here. Fungus. Um, it's not worth replacing those right now. 
build. You're at University 60, I believe. I almost always end up with duplicates, by the way. Um, load template. Coastal 1. Nutrient resources. Okay, that's fine. Old. So let's see, how have things been? So, um, you desperately need to heal. You can stay to heal. You can move around to make sure we don't have any baddies. You, why do you have one move left? Oh, you're a normal former. Why do I keep building those in my queue? Um, there. Uh, so let's see. Uh, today for reference is the 2nd of September. So my birthday is in two days. Um, what else? Um, Terraform complete. Today was my last appointment with my therapist. She is leaving and going into private practice after a very long vacation. And can't say I blame her. Hey, look, it's another tech. Who would have thought? All right, you can go investigate pods elsewhere. Down here, I suppose. Um, so yeah, like I said, she's going into private practice, but not yet. So I can't just ask her to take me with her. <laughs> um, my closest unlinked node is Omega Sector. Problem solved. Hey, look, it's another transcendent thought. Who would have thought? Um, you know what? Just stay there. It'll be fine. You need to fungus. You have finished fungusing. You're going to start tubing. Nutrient resources. Mineral resources. Okay, that's actually nice to have. Um, why were you going to an? Oh, there must have been like pods there. Um, where is? Where are the nearest pods to here? Are there any pods anywhere near here in the water at this point? I think I might have basically finished cleaning up the water. Speaking of pods, you are going to there. Invalid terraform command. Ah, you actually are a shelf. I didn't notice. You're not though. Um, so it's bittersweet to lose my therapist, and by bittersweet I mean it really bad in my mind um because, i mean this is the only therapist that i've had that i've actually liked and it's important to have a therapist that you feel like you can actually talk to my new therapist the first available appointment is in november keep in mind i booked this month and a half ago uh so not the greatest And I know nothing about them, and I'm only going to have them for uh, four, five months, something like that. So, not the greatest time to be switching therapists. In addition, um, due to my extended time frame for moving, that means that I am now having to deal with the situation I was really hoping not to have to deal with. Um, 
the fact that I am going to not have health insurance. I can probably even make another video about this, but long story short, I am on what the United States calls Copra. So basically I am paying my previous employer for health insurance, which is fine, I suppose. But um, one, it's hella expensive. I actually have to pay the employer more than what they pay. Um, it's like, what they pay plus a percentage and that's really expensive but even worse than that is the fact that um i am only allowed to hold on to cobra for 18 months after i leave my previous position uh 18 months after i see i re screwed up the name uh this should be 61 um 18 months after I leave my previous position will be up at the end of this year. So at that point, I have a choice of either going on to my, the company I work for is health insurance, which is abysmal or, um, crying. <laughs> no, um, paying for private health insurance and private health insurance is somehow even worse than Cobra. None of these things should be a thing. That's completely ridiculous, and I hate it. Hate it so much. I'll just go in there somewhere. I don't care where. Bot recovered. Network node or alien artifact. Bot recovered. Second alien artifact. Um. probably zoom in so people other than me can see things um so yeah that's annoying my performance review was earlier this week i have no idea how that's going to work out or earlier last week i should say because i think i was mentioning it a little bit in the previous video i have no idea how this is going to work i won't know until next week at the earliest where my performance reviews should be in theory scheduled in practice who knows what the hell's going on i certainly don't um so lots of anxiety there just for fun Turn complete. And we are at end of turn. Our turns are actually increasing in speed for a bit. Why does New Jerusalem have no garrison? Are they about to lose it to the damn believers? Improvement destroyed. Well, I guess I don't need that sensor after all. Production complete. Eternity lies ahead of us. So your food is 17, so you've got 17 more turns. Uh, in theory, I could increase it, but 17 more turns until you run out of population. I'm not going to have 17 more turns left in the game, so you should be building bases. Yeah, we'll go with that. Production complete. Yep, don't Production care. Complete. You notice that we're not spawning native life forms when we pop now? I think that's from Voice of Planet as a sort of hidden ability. Uh, I believe you're on Coast 2 now, aren't you? No, you're not. The heck am I talking about? You're one of my better bases. Delete all items. Yes. Um, Temple of Planet. You actually still have a couple of spots that aren't covered. Hmm. I'm just running through the tree now, aren't I? Honestly, you don't even need Jean Jack at this point. It's not worth building. It just adds the drones. I don't need drones. Q Lab. Um, why do I have one that's taking resources? That's yeah, fine. That's right. You lost stuff because of the attacks. Hence why you have no crate. Um, 
probably a weird selection of things that you were missing, but that's the only one I really notice. Um, oh, why the hell not? Let's make things fun. Production complete. It's like improving yourself forever. Um, what the hell were you building? I think you finished tier. I think you finished coastal two. I don't feel like making a three. Maybe I should. I mean, nutrients is probably going to be useful because you're done with this. Although nutrients are only going to give you whatever is on farm. It'll be fine. Production complete. Eternity lies ahead of you. you are on coast two. Production complete. You are on coast two. Production complete. And that is it for that turn. Terraform complete. Fungus everything. Just agitate. It'll be fine. Although I don't even know if we spawn native life forms anymore, to be honest. Just sleep. And we're going to put you over here. We're going to attack on the same turn because we're dumb. Really? We lost that? Oh well. Uh, we can reload. Okay. Um, build over here. Just build a base right there. Why not? That's not the worst idea. So this area is kind of centralized. I mean, over here would work for a base, but that's a fungus tile, so I can't put a base there right now. Um, over here wouldn't overlap, and there's a whole bunch of forest. That's better than nothing. Yeah, we'll do there. We're done. Oops. Did not mean to move this unit. Um, going down to Omicron. Complete. I must have misclicked. That's fine. We're gonna raise terrain. It's getting more expensive because we're having to raise it higher up. Um, I think we finally. Nope. We haven't quite exhausted all of the boreholes on that continent, but. It's pretty close. And by continent, I mean island. NRG. Okay. Um, be nice if I could see the mouse. There we go. Uh, I think we're going to start expanding over here. Here, actually. Here's this area seems pretty darn good because everything's already fungus. So we're gonna pop one there. You are land. You are land. Go to Tau Sector. Ah, so they like putting units into bases that don't have garrison, which is nice of them to do. Don't get me wrong, but it 
throws me off occasionally. Also, we're making 766 money a turn now. You know, without actually having anything in money at all. In fact, I might actually start increasing our psych a little bit to see if we can tweak the amount of points that we get. Uh, how are we doing on the Ascent to Transcendent? Seven turns. Well, maybe this won't be the last video. Or maybe I will just marathon it. It is kind of late at night, but... Alright, you... Could put you here, and you would overlap a lot more than one tile. Um... Here wouldn't overlap, except that... No, actually, over here would not overlap. So, yeah, let's put you down here. Oh, I already had another thing there. Oh, well. Uh, what are we on now? 62, I think. See, were we on 62? Yes, we were. Okay, good. I've been in the hundreds for reference on games. Uh, you're basically done at this point, so I'm going to have you construct tubes to Budoshi Devor. You're basically done. I'm going to have you construct tubes that way. You need to increase our mag tubes over here. You're done. Start raising that. Bot recovered. Free object, always helpful, especially since it's the expensive one. Indigenous life Meh. Forms. Don't care. Um. Hmm. I put you here would be perfect if that wasn't a fungus tile um, here would overlap two tiles that's not the end of the world and how much are you losing in energy about 25% that's not that bad yeah let's just put it there Terraform complete. Almost. Bot recovered. We're going to have a lot of artifacts in that one thing. Um. Huh. Where am I going to put you? Could start encroaching some more. That's not the worst idea. That would overlap zero tile. Or it would overlap one tile. And it's still in my territory, so they're not gonna be too pissed. I did it again. Just go over there, it'll be fine. So many colony pods. I think we're going to finally inhabit this island. Actually, how bad is hope? Hope is... Uh, it's still fine. Let's get some more land, shall we? Um, we're going to go coastal there. Build a sensor on my own territory, dang it. Okay, you finally connected up there. Lastly, I think it's time for you to drop elsewhere.
right there. Also, I keep meaning to remember to look. You are not under attack, you're just incompetent. Got it. You also have no food. Maybe Sash had a point and I should have just kept all of the cities, but I don't want to. That takes effort and thought and stuff. I know, very technical terms. Um, that's a really weird tube I just noticed. Oh well, um, you're done. You have a road already, okay. You need a forest. You need a place to plunk this. Screw it. I like building in the middle of the ruins just for fun. Although, unfortunately, um, obelisk supersedes fungus, if I remember right. So, not the greatest spot for things. Combat units only. I'm not trying to attack you with a former. Indigenous life forms. Really? Will you stop spawning life forms? Just trying to move. Turn complete. Alright, we are turn complete. We are at 51 minutes. Let's go. Plus one minerals in every square marine bio base. That's fine. You didn't even touch me. You destroyed a former, you bastards. You popped another spot. Who cares? Um, you're actually done with your cues. Let's be silly. Why not? Production complete. Eternity lies. Another attack. You have a hab complex and not a hab. Oh no, you have the hab dumb. Okay, so you're C two. Production complete. You have a hab complex and not the hab dome, which means that you are doming. Production complete. Uh, we were at sixty two last, right? Yes. Narrowly beat you, but that's fine. Narrowly beating you is still beating you. Nutrient resources. Okay, um, fungus. Fungus. You're all fungused up. Where is even nearby? Omega Sector already has things going toward it. Um, um, really running out of places to put things. Screw it. You're also going to help Omega Sector then. You're also going to help Omega Sector. Why not? Everybody helps Omega Sector. Uh, let's see. What else is going on? So, my housemate is currently... And uh, he went to a concert in Colorado, of all places. So, he's been gone for the week. I'm assuming he'll be back, like, sometime this weekend. Um, Rose Sector can use your help. just being helpful um let's see kitties are doing okay although 
Um, both Zone and Boo have been throwing up quite a bit lately. I'm wondering if they don't like their food. Terraform complete. You're going to need to find a new spot to build a base again. Um, here, I guess. That's only overlapping one tile. Weird way to put things, but sure. Terraform complete. Okay. Plug this old. Oh, that's right. It wasn't that I had fast forwarded through it. It's literally just that I had already dropped a spot on top of University 62, and that's why. Spot recovered. Okay. Um. Two, one. Indigenous life form. Do not destroy me, please. Thank you. And we are going to offload you. Wait, why are you 18 away? Oh, because you're in water at the moment. Okay, I can at least dump two of you down. Darn it, I had to click on the one that had already gone. It's hard to tell with how tiny these are. Okay. That, that's not, don't remove the grid. You are 63. Goes to one. Terrain. Bungus everything. Oops. Dang it. Did not mean to move you. That's annoying. <sighs> oh well. Um, you're all fungus up. You're connected. Might as well continue the tubes. You're all done. Lots of email. Um, I have no idea what to do with you. Go there, sit a turn, and I'll jump you out next turn. Although, I'm not going to have a next turn. I think I'm just going to actually finish the game this turn. I don't know. I actually don't need a super former here at all. Unit all of the land... Energy. Spots are actually taken up.
Why the hell not? Let's drop you off. Uh, there's two spots I can't build over there. Again, I don't know why it matters. I'm done with the game. None of this matters. I did it again. We're at 65. Load Coastal 1. You're done. I didn't need to go out there. There's no base that holds that spot. Um, I'm doing great. You're going to drop. I don't know. Here. Why not? You're going to drop. I mean, if there was a non-fungus tile there, I would totally drop. Indigenous life forms. Meh, we'll lose the unit. Who cares? Pfft. 66. You actually need to drop someplace else now. Um, that is a cromulent spot. NRG. Dang it, did it again. You are 67. Land. Like don't force. care. Really don't care. You are 68. Land. Sure, why not? Uh, you're basically done over here. Complete. Okay. We are at an hour. Hour and three minutes and seven seconds at that particular point. I don't know if we can even afford to hurry. Energy. No, we can't. I think we finish up the game next time, not this time. No, we finish it up this time. We're going to go a little bit longer, but... It's time to get some money. We will definitely have enough money next turn. And I'm going to increase Psych a bit. Um, increase it to 30% Psych. I have 4,000 energy. What the hell am I talking about? I don't need that much money. We'll do 50-50. That should be more than enough. Um... Citizens are very happy at this point. <laughs> we only have a handful of drones now. I mean, look at this. We've got a nine-person base where we only have one non-happy person. And it started with only one non-happy person, everybody unhappy. Um, that's right, that was the one that attacked our former. So, yeah. Um, we're going to finish it next turn. Or, technically, turn after. Project initiated. Oh, Miriam's now trying the Ascent Transcendence. Yep, this is working great for them. Yeah, don't point. care. Project yep, initiated. knew that was going to happen. Production complete. Yep, you built a Temple of Planet. Good job. Um, we're ending it next turn. So, is there anything that would get us points? Um, no. The answer is no. Production complete. You have finally built your last drop supply. 
Paradise Garden. I don't even think that gives us points now that I think about it. So let's replace that with Orbital Power. Oh, dang it. This turn, Orbital Power. So if the last thing in your queue is a unit, it will keep that as the next thing to build even when the queue is empty, which always throws me off. Complete. Okay, you destroyed my soil enrancher. Don't care. We now have our second side gate, so we can actually use the side gate. Then it matters. Um, Labs and psych bonus, why not? We're not going to finish it. Um, Can you finish normal power? Yes, you can. Production complete. Hybrid forest, cool. Um, orbital power. Everything's going to be orbital power, aren't they? Yep. Golden age begun. Orbital power. Ah, oh, actually, Habdome would be better. Wait, I need to make sure I have enough money. We'll set Golden it like that for now. Begun. Golden Age begun. Golden Age begun. We're gonna hear Golden Age begun a lot, by the way. Full power. Look at this ridiculous amount of mineral production. production. Golden Age begun. Production complete. All right. How, what are we doing on, we have 20 transmitters right now. We're producing many more next turn. <laughs> um, sort by minerals. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven more next turn. First off. Request confirmation. We have enough money. Screw it. Look at how much our eco damage dropped, by the way. That's purely just from the sheer number of pops that we've had. Um, which is interesting in my mind. We're going to change you to orbital power. We're going to change you to orbital power. Uh, anything that is not one turn, we are going to change to orbital power. Because next turn's our last turn. There's no reason to do anything else, basically. We're going to actually hurry you because that will actually help. You are now orbital power. Yes, I'm aware that I'm retooling. Don't care. Dome. Hurry. Request confirmation. I forgot that I can do that from here. Um, monitoring station. Request Actually, confirmation. yes. Because research hospital reduced number of drones. Orbit. Orbit. Everything is orbiting. So I know we have high enough population in some cities at this point to do this. So it might as well. I'm getting really tired. Apologies for being slightly delayed mentally. No, not Sky Hydro. Orbital power. Getting bored of this might just hit end turn. <laughs> Your dome. Oh, I could have hit hurry from the other. Request confirmation. Request confirmation. I always forget that I can do it from here. Q. 
These are the only ones left. You know what? Screw it. I don't feel like thinking. Request confirmation. We're just going to make everything end next turn. Request confirmation. Oh, you're actually expensive. Uh, screw it. Good enough. And now we're going to quickly whip through our turns. Terraform complete. Mostly, I'm just going to be building bases. Um, yep, you're fine. You're going to drop uh, here. Energy. Base drops. I mean, it really doesn't matter at this point because we don't have any chance of building another base. You don't actually own this land. Hmm. Well, sucks to be you. We're going to drop on to there. Of course there is. Oh, yeah, that's right. We don't need money anymore. Because, you know, we don't need... We can just labs up everything if we wanted to. I honestly do. So that's something I actually want to figure out is whether it's worth more points for me to throw everything into labs or throw everything into psych. I'm honestly not sure. Sixty-eight? Uh, not five sixty-eight. Does not matter. What is the last last one? B sixty nine. Nice. Oh yeah, out of curiosity, what is my lowest nutrient output base? Gagarin Memorial, you have four nutrients remaining, so you're still growing next turn. So yeah. Um, we don't need to worry about food then. And Consecrated Waters has 43 nutrients coming. What's our biggest base? It's Gagger Memorial at Population. Can't read that. Um, what does that even say? It's 30-something. Gagger Memorial is 38. Dang means I think the next highest would be 36. I don't actually care anymore. Do whatever you want. This network node is already linked to an artifact. This network node is already linked to an artifact. I must have linked it earlier and not noticed. It's fine. Like I said, I'm just trying to rush the end at this point. Even though I'm doing the things that I would normally be doing anyway, but I'm just trying to rush the end. Again, all of these things, I'm not doing anything special. Gotta love that curve.
Dang it, I did it again. Well, you're gonna end up on that lonely island. Um... Improvement already exists. You really don't need a farmer here. What? Bot recovered. Oh no, Xenofungal Bloom, how could I have ever told the difference? Um, why did you have a forest there? Life form. Don't care. Sure, why not? Oops. Um. Don't care. I'm just trying to finish the turn. I know I'm super late. Nutrient resources. Don't care anymore. Just trying to finish the game at this point. Seventy. Terraform complete. Terraform complete. Terraform complete. Dang it, did it again. You're 71. I didn't even cue it with anything. I know it doesn't matter, but I do it anyway. I can't tell you why. Turn complete. All right. In theory, this should be... Well, no, it's not in theory. We are finishing the game next turn. What I don't know is oops, wrong one whether this gives us more points than shoving everything into labs or some combination thereof so i'm going to figure that out all right now but first let's go ahead and trigger the end of the game oh it's sunspots on the last turn just for fun production complete production complete production complete all right, final tech, uh, final secret project. This one's a long one. I don't even think there's words on this one. I don't remember. Because everything. No longer we are earth beings and planet beings, are we? but bright children of the stars, and together we shall dance in and out of 10 billion years, celebrating the gift of consciousness until the stars themselves grow cold and weary and our thoughts turn again to the beginning.
that's it. We have ended the human era. Provost Sakharov of the university leads humanity in the ascent to transcendence, the next step in human evolution. We got almost every single achievement. Uh, so if we had defeated all the other factions, they would be showing up down here for reference. Um, we only defeated one ourselves, which is Sparta. Epilogue from the Book of Planet, mission year 1,027,823. After a million or so orbits around your primary, you pause to reassess your efforts. The stellar encapsulation is proceeding smoothly, and a few hundred thousand more orbits will provide you with a 90% draw on your planet, or your primary's radiation, trapping all of the energy off the plane of the ecliptic. Deep Space Aux links allow you to watch the frame assembly in low stellar orbit and follow the progress of bug-like Jovian freighters loaded with resupply mass. So basically, you're making a Dyson, not quite a Dyson sphere because you're not sphering everything. You're just um, sphering the parts off ecliptic so it doesn't actually affect any of the planets, which is nice. Occasionally, you spot one of your transhuman friends-slash-symbiotes supervising activity on a scaffolding. Even the immortals sometimes crave the risk and adventure of independent incarnation. Some of the most daring souls even undertook to resume interstellar travel, beginning with a return to your nearest neighbor to sift through the ashes of its third planet and recolonize their home system. In the present age, you hear a nanotech civilization is thriving there once again. So... If you were not the one to complete the Ascent to Transcendence, um, this message changes completely, and you're actually the one sent off to go recolonize Earth. In such times of repose, you often sift through your personalities and recall your former selves. Your alpha self derives from an individual once called Zakharov. Over the millennia, the exceptional focus and judgment characteristic of this fragment have proven effective on numerous occasions. The Zakharov self now drives all of your long- and short-range planning, and is the prim principal force behind encapsul the encapsulation project. Ponderous but playful is the voice-slash-planet personality, avatar of your sessile precursor, who in the present age has devoted her centuries to philosophical pondering. Many others flit about within you. Some, like the prankster Fedorov and the demon Miriam, are semi-dominant and often hover near the plane of your thought. Others plumb the depths and create new worlds within the abyss of your open-ended neural network. I did not notice that Miriam got a shout-out here. I wonder if it's because she's the first one that submitted? Or the strongest of our allies? I don't actually know. Sunlight plays across your malted surface and provides pleasing warmth to your organic compound or components. Recently, you edged somewhat further away from your prime from the primary and purged your atmosphere of certain gases in order to allow the occasional friends slash symbiotes who choose to live among your organic gardens an easily breathable mixture. In another eight billion orbits, the primary will drop off its main sequence. And the alternate arrangements and alternate arrangements will have to be made, but for now you maintain your gardens as a paradise. The transhumans who live among them call it Eden. So basically, you are planet now. Um, planet is a hive mind, just like it already was. The main difference is that you join the hive mind. That's the transcendence process, and your reward for completing the ascent to transcendence is that Zakharov is the primary personality. That's it. Eternity lies ahead of us and behind. And cue the credits. So, um, yeah, a bit different from the stereotypical Civ ending for like a science based victory, you know? So, 
Brian Reynolds is the primary designer of Alpha Centauri, even though it's Sid Meier's Alpha Centauri, but Brian Reynolds is the primary designer. And Brian Reynolds is also the primary designer of Civ 2, for reference. Uh, he left Firaxis and founded Big Huge Games, I think was his next endeavor. And... Huh. I just noticed that the credits don't actually include the voice acting cast for Smack. Just Alien Crossfire. That's a little strange. Anyway, um... He founded Big Huge Games and made Rise of Nations. Uh, he was also a contributor to Age of Empires, if I remember correctly. Each of the Civ game series had a different primary designer. Um, and pretty much all of them left after their respective games. Other than Sid Meier himself, who was the primary designer of Civ 1. Oh, I wish I would have been a beta tester on Smack. That would have been interesting. Maybe I, maybe there'd be fewer bugs. Maybe there'd be more bugs. No idea. Remembered manuals. Marco Garcia, good job with the tech tree. A little confusing to follow, but it's still a pretty poster. Um, so yeah. I'm going to be taking a break from uploading videos for a little bit, but the next video is going to be discussing which Smack faction I should play as next. I'm not going to be recording another Smack session until another game in between. At least at the moment, I am planning on... Ah, there's the original credits. Okay. At the moment, I'm currently planning on playing Commander Keen. I don't know which Commander Keen. I might play multiple of them. They're very short games. Um, six is actually my favorite, but I might start with four. Maybe I'll do four, five, and six. Um, the first trilogy is nowhere near as good, and Keen Dreams is kind of... Uh... So, yep, there's all of the voice acting cast. I've already missed them, but luckily I'm recording, so I'll be able to look at this. I love how they actually had to credit the dancing baby. Oh, the 90s. <sighs> I hope you've been enjoying the series, any of you who are watching. Um, so far, it seems to be one of my most popular Let's Play series. Uh, cumulative number of views, it's definitely the most popular, but it's also 19 episodes long at this point. So that's not too surprising. 20 if you count the um, episode zero. And if I were to do a second Smack series, it would be significantly shorter by virtue of the fact that I wouldn't be explaining every itty bitty little thing. Uh, what else? It's late at night. I mean, it's 2314 right now for me. And this has gone on for an hour and a half. It's dedicated to NASA and all of the world space programs. That's nice. I don't know if I've actually... Yeah, I knew that um, eternity lies ahead of us and behind. Have you drunk your fill is the quote of the game. We've heard it enough. That's why I had to keep skipping through it. So I know this is an hour and a half long. Okay, I was there we go. So we have 7,428 points. Um, so the score conversion to percentage changes based off of your uh, difficulty level. So talent, I want to say it's 10 to 1. Maybe it's 21. We'll find out really fast. And the zero objectives achieved, that is actually the transcendence um, score. So it's 2,000 minus two times the number of turns that we've taken. We've taken 300 and some odd turns. There you go. Okay, so population is 1732. It's good to know. 7428. That is a really good score, especially for only playing on talent. Um, in general, scores of about 200% are pretty good. My personal record is closer to 2,000%. Uh, but 3, 371% on talent difficulty is really good. These are the books that I was referring to, by the way. I'll notice the titles should look awfully familiar. 
Yeah, 371%. These are other times that I retired out of curiosity. So, yeah. Um, you can actually replay the game at this point if you want, um, which it's going to happen automatically. A little replay, fast forward. The problem being that since we're on an island hopping map, it's not necessarily going to look that great. It's mostly me just bleaching all of the land masses. Yeah, we ended at 2380. So we started at 2101. So that means we spent 280 turns. Huh, maybe it's more than two points off per turn. Maybe it's four. Anyway. So the game is like over. No further scroll will be entered. So what we want to do is reload really fast to find out if changing it to all tech would actually have changed anything on our score. Let's find out. Turns complete. All right. So all in the labs. All of it. And I'm going to pause it until we get to the score because there's no reason for you to see anything else. One moment. And that is our answer. It's a very, very similar score. Um, so 774.50. It is very slightly more. So it is an extra 22 points. So it effectively made zero difference. Um, population was 1732 versus 1732. So yeah, the population did not make a single bit of difference because it's only counting pure population. It's not counting how many talents that you have. Um, and also we didn't need the golden ages in this case. Golden ages were irrelevant. So all the difference is the techs, which we gained 20 more points because we learned four additional techs from that. And it only counts to the end of that base's turn. It doesn't count the rest of your turn. So, like, for instance, if I said, let me play more turns. Oh, actually, no, it does count to the start of the turn. Uh, the last thing I want to check. Turn complete. So we're going to go back. Labs everything. And we're going to break pact with everybody. I don't think this is going to make any difference, but let's find out. One moment. It made a big difference. So the reason why it made such a large difference is from commerce dropping like a rock. Um, we'll see the comparison momentarily. But so you will notice that our energy reserves, our population, our technologies, our secret projects, all of that is the same. It's the commerce rating. The commerce rating is that huge difference. So yeah, allies good. Please don't go. Oop. The drones need you. They look up to you. I had to have that come up once. I'll talk to you next time, internet. Bye.